Wow, I was just pulling the tarot cards and all five are major arcana, which is crazy because that does not happen often. I will tell you that. So I just want to let you know, um, that's why I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, welcome to the new moon workshop. This is a Pisces new moon. This is the last new moon of 2023's energy. Okay, so Pisces is the last sign. Um so a new moon in Pisces is wrapping up last year's energy because the next new moon will be in Aries season and that will be a new energetic year. So this is a really important time for us to be closing things out. This card represents closing things out. This card, okay, so this is the world reverse. This is the death card reverse. These both represent wrapping things up and we have strength. And we have the chariot. So strength is all about our new identity emerging because this is connected to the sun and the sun represents who we are and how we show up, our ego in a healthy way. Um, and the chariot is all about planning for the future and what is happening next. The other card that I also have is the hierophant reversed. Okay, so this is about breaking free from old chains and structures and foundations that don't serve us anymore. And then I also like this, there's a two of, oh, beautiful, a two of wands and a 10 of coins. So huge opportunities for expansion, money, new foundations, love and partnerships, collaborations, et cetera. So that is what we should be dreaming now. We are still in Pisces season. So that is a very dreamy energy. If you haven't watched the Pisces season workshop, I strongly suggest you do. Um, you can pay whatever you want for that. The structure, the payment structure is the same as this one. I'm going to add the link below. But this is a really important new moon. Um, sorry, let me just back up and say thank you for joining. If this is your first time, um, welcome. If you are back again, I love you. Thank you for your support. This is a pay what you can workshop. The link is below if you haven't donated yet. So you can do it there. And I appreciate that. Um, you support me and my team and this beautiful space that I'm opening here in Lisbon. This is Wheelhouse. Um, it's cute. Anyways, whatever. You can see it another time. But I want to talk about this new moon. This is a super moon. So that means it's closer to the earth. So it has a stronger energy, a stronger influence. Um what is really important about this new moon is that yes. A new moon is about starting something, initiating a new cycle. But when we're thinking about Pisces, Pisces is actually connected to ascension. It is connected to release and integration. It is a mutable water sign. So this is an opportunity for us to pivot and to change directions. Um, this is also, a, this Pisces energy is also all about Balancing the light and the dark, the right and the wrong, the um, pride and the shame. It's like, if you think about Pisces, the symbol is two fish and they're tied together and they're swimming in circles. It's because you can't have one without the other. You can't have the light without the dark. Oh, I, okay. I'm just remembering. I talked about this in the workshop, the Pisces season workshop, and it's beautiful because the dark supports the light and the light supports the dark. So we need to accept both. We need to accept the struggle so that we can enjoy the success. We need to accept the pain so that we can feel the love and the expansion. It, it's like we have to experience the full spectrum. And that's what Pisces season teaches us. But this Pisces new moon is also showing us how we can establish a new intention. We can establish new um, ideas, perspectives, goals, hopes, and dreams that are connected to us integrating all of the lessons that we've learned over the past 12 months, over this entire year, all 12 seasons. So before we start next year, energetically, which is going to happen in Aries season because Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. So that's the start of the new energetic wheel, the new year, like the Zodiac uh, wheel. It's the new energetic year. So this new moon 
in the last sign is teaching us that we can ask for release and integration in a new way. And that when we accept where we've been, our struggles, what we've learned, a lot of that can be frustrating, disappointing, because we've had to sacrifice a lot of people. Uh, we've had to sacrifice maybe a lot of hopes and dreams that were connected to those people. Because when you're in a relationship, you're not only mourning and processing the loss of that person, you're also you know, mourning and processing the loss of the potential with that person, with that job, with that family member, how your family could have been or how that relationship could have turned out or developed or whatever. It's not only the thing, it's all of the potential connected to the thing that we also need to just release. So there's a lot of sacrifice. And with that sacrifice comes recognition. Um, it's an experience. We've learned something. We get to integrate that knowledge and apply it to this next cycle. So this new moon is a good moon for planting the intention and welcoming in acceptance of who you are now and who you've been acceptance of the struggle. So you can surrender the struggle to make more available space for the joy, for the excitement, for all of the opportunities. Remember this 10 of coins, this two of wands for all of the opportunities and the new dreams that are coming your way. And that will start to show up in the next year's energy. So in Aries season, we're going to really be starting to move forward with new action, new ideas, et cetera. But I love this also. We've got a nine of swords reverse. It's like, don't stress. Like you can't fix the past. You can't control the future. You're only in control of yourself right now and how you choose to respond to the world around you. So it's like this nine of swords reverse is saying, ooh, sorry, you can't go back. You can't go back and fix it, but you can find a way to accept what you learned through that experience and to move forward in a new way. So that is what you need to use this energy to do. That is how we move forward. This world card, we're wrapping things up. Pisces is connected to the 12th house in modern day astrology. That is connected to endings. There's also the 12th house is also connected to your secret enemies. So there could be, especially over the past two weeks or so, there could be new information coming up about how you are leaking your energy or your finances or your love. You're committing to people or projects or things that you shouldn't be, or you don't need moving forward. And maybe these people or these collaborators or these whoever, maybe they're still benefiting from being connected to you, but you're not really benefiting being connected to them. So it's out of balance. So maybe they're not quote unquote an enemy, but you're noticing that this is like a secret thing that works well for them, but not really for you. And it's like, it's not equal give and take. Well, keep in mind the South node, which is an area of the sky that represents release and clearing. The South node is in Libra this whole year. So especially if you are a Libra, an Aries, a Cancer, or a Capricorn, you're going to notice that this year, and that can be your sun, moon, rising sign, whatever. But this year, and for all of us, because this south node in Libra affects all of us, but if you're those four signs, it's even stronger. It's all about release. It's all about, we need to stop adjusting ourselves and watering ourselves down so other people are comfortable or other people can digest us or other people, whatever, get their way. They feel good. And then you get like the short end of the stick and you're just like, why do I keep deprioritizing myself and prioritizing you and your needs and what you want. So that is a really big theme this year. If you're a uh, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, or an Aries, you should definitely at some point this year, watch the nodes workshop because we're really working with this energy for 12 months. And I mean, anyone can and should watch that, but like those four signs are going to be really affected by it. I have a Libra rising and like, my God, the like wake up that just keeps happening. It's like, it really is a lot. And that is making more available space, 
like this new moon, like Pisces season right now for all of us, it's making more available space. That's a common theme this year, making more available space for this new identity that is emerging, for building a new future, a new foundation. What does safety and security mean for you now? What does financial success mean to you now? Maybe you don't need so much money. You prefer more free time. That's how we're starting to like rebalance ourselves. We want softer movement. We don't want to be working blood, sweat, and tears all day, 40, 50, 60 hours a week for what? Why? It's just like these old structures, they're being released. And that's also in part to Pluto, who is now in Aquarius, and he's going to stay there for 20 years. And I could talk about that forever also. It's like, there's a separate workshop for that. You can find it on my website. But like, and sorry, I know that it's like, there's so many things happening. And I'm always like, watch this workshop, watch that workshop. And But it's like, these are big things. I'm not trying to just sell you a fucking workshop. Like that is a 20 year cycle. So even if you don't watch that, just keep in mind that Pluto in Aquarius is reinventing your mind. It is helping you purge your sub- conscious beliefs, like the subconscious beliefs, the old programs in the back of your mind that you learned when you were growing up from the family. It's like, that shapes who you are. That, like 90% of our life is like lived from the subconscious beliefs that we carry. So it's like, we need to clear them and purge them. This is a card that is connected to Pluto and Pluto is that subconscious belief. So it's like, this this is a big energy, guys. Like, I want to also, okay, let me just pause this for a second. I want to talk about, we have three big things happening in the sky right now that I also want to talk about. Um, I'll just do it quickly and then we'll move on to the energy clearing and then um, the guided meditation and we'll be, we'll wrap it up. We'll be done. First of all, Maverick, no, 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 don't bark. Don't bark. Sorry, there's just a horn outside. My dog's going to run. We have Saturn and Pisces still. So this is helping us build our dreams, okay? So you have a soul path. Whether or not you want to follow it is a different story, but you have a soul path. That is the little voice in the back of your head telling you to do something that you know will make you happy. Maybe it feels terrifying because it's telling you to move to a different country. It's just, it's that that intuitive knowing that you deserve more. You want to try something, learn something, go somewhere, taste a new food or whatever. It, it's just like, you need to expand. That is connected to the soul. The soul is connected to that Pisces energy. Okay. So there's a lot of that right now. So maybe your dreams are also very vivid. Maybe you're just, your intuition is really strong, but like with Saturn in Pisces right now, and for the next while, we have a lot of opportunities to trust that intuitive knowing and to follow it and to start building Saturn, start building foundations and structures that support our soul path. Okay. So that is an overall theme right now that you should be paying attention to. Now, we have, where is it here? Mercury conjunct, uh, conjunct means together. So we have Mercury with Neptune, okay? That's happening around the same time as this new moon. Neptune, Neptune is a very sort of hazy, confusing energy. So you could be feeling like, you're just driving blind. Like you can't see where you're going. You're in the fog. It's not making sense, but something will, if it hasn't already, start to click and make more sense. It's like, you're going to be getting more and more information or the right information will be showing up. And that will give you more clarity about a situation, a person, a project, a thing, whatever. Maybe it's even yourself. It's like something clicks. Wow, that's why I continue to think about that. Or that's why I've been doing this because I have this trauma from the past or whatever. Or you're finally able to see through the limitations that trauma gave you. 
or the limitations that your parents gave you or society gave you. It's like whatever these mental limitations are that you haven't been able to break through, there's a high probability that pieces will be showing up to help you break through that so that you can move forward and expand in a new way. So that is a beautiful energy that we are working with under this new moon. And this new moon is connected to setting the intention to release and ascend and integrate. So part of what we are releasing is like when something clicks in the mind, oh my God, that makes sense. Now I can set the intention to let it go and let go of any of the behaviors, the beliefs, the habits that are connected to that old idea. So this is how this new moon is helping us. The point also is that we're wrapping it up. So it's like all of this awareness, all of this emotion that is coming up, it's so we can fully process, we can release, let go, and we can close this fucking chapter and we can just wrap it up and let it go and move forward. This is an amazing opportunity to be cutting cords, clearing shit out. It's like, let go, let go, let go, okay? Um, why? Because the new energetic, the new energetic year will start in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, maybe. Um, this is an amazing opportunity for us to invite spring with a clean slate. It's like, we want to clear out the shit now so that when we enter that new energetic year, which is very fucking soon, we have more available space to expand. Okay. What are we expanding into? 10 of coins. This is better relationships, better foundations, better structures, better business, more money. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Okay. So that is what our goal is. So cut the cords, okay? Not to sound like a broken record, but I also have a cord cutting workshop. <laughs> I will tag that below. Um, also, just keep in mind, everything that I offer is either pay uh, like a sliding scale or pay what you can. Um, and we are going to be announcing that in the new energetic year also, because all of my workshops, my eBooks, everything I want to have just as available as possible for everyone, because these are really helpful. And it's like, just use them, use them, use them, use them. Okay. We are going to start an energetic cleanse now. So you can close your eyes. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Maverick, come here, come lay down. So close your eyes. And I want you to just imagine that there's a green fire burning in front of you on the ground. Just visualize that green fire. And now in your hand, I want you to imagine you have a golden comb. And now I want you to just comb out your energy field. So we all have an energy field that looks like an egg. It's that shape around our body. It's an aura. So just comb out your aura because it picks up a lot of information. It picks up other people's projections, other people's ideas and thoughts and fears, environmental collective information. It sticks to us. So just literally comb out any of that energy and just toss it into that green fire and let the green fire just clean it, okay? You can start at the top of your head and work your way down. Follow your intuition. There's no right or wrong. And we're just combing it out and we're tossing it into that fire. Make sure you go all the way down your body to your feet and everything. And now I want you to imagine that that green fire, like a vacuum, it starts to suck all of the negative energy or other people's energy out of your home, out of your apartment, your living room, your kitchen. It's just cleaning your home. So just imagine that you see like a vacuum, all of that negative energy or other people's energy just getting sucked into that green fire. I'm going to use a distance energy symbol to help clear all this energy from you and your space. So just imagine that it's sucking up all of that energy. It's 
cleaning up your space. And now I want you to imagine that white light starts to pour down from above. Maybe it looks like rain or a shower or just the clouds open and light comes pouring through. There's no right or wrong. But just imagine that white light starts to pour down into your apartment, running all over your body. And it's adding a layer of protection. It's enhancing your life force energy. I'm going to use a different distance energy symbol to help add more protection and just enhance that life force energy. So just imagine that white light is pouring down, covering your whole body. Adding a layer of protection. And now keeping your eyes closed, I want you to imagine under this new moon that we're using this energy to wrap things up. So what is maybe one project or a collaboration? Maybe it's your own project. Maybe it's someone else's project. But what's one thing that feels like work that continues to drain you, that you're you're ready to release. Maybe it's your actual job. Maybe it's an offering, a creative project, just something that you feel like you're satisfied with or you don't wanna spend more time, energy or money on trying to fix it more or develop it more. You just wanna wrap it up and let it go. And I want you to set the intention under this new moon that this new moon allows you to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Now I want you to imagine a person, a lover, maybe an ex, family, friends, someone who you feel ready to spend less time with. Someone you feel ready to stop thinking about, to stop socializing with. Just a connection that is, it's complete and you feel ready to let it go. And I want you to give yourself permission to let that connection go. I want you to send gratitude for all of the lessons, for the learning. But I want you to just say, I am complete with this. And I want you to ask the universe to help you just clear this out from your life. And now I want you to think about yourself. What habit, what belief system are you ready to let go of? Is there a trauma, a heartbreak? Are you angry with another person and you're constantly thinking about that? Maybe it's a behavior. I want you to just think about one thing that you're ready to let go of. And then set the intention to let it go. Ask for help from the universe to create more separation from this habit or this belief system and just let it go. And now the last thing I wanna do here because this is a new moon, which is all about new beginnings. I want you to just set the intention to create more space for new beginnings. And if there's something else that you want to set an intention for now, maybe it's connected to your work or a friend, a lover, maybe it's a, a personal self goal, whatever it is, under this new moon, 
I want you to set the intention to create more space for that also. So you can do it now. And then whenever you're ready, just giving gratitude for everything that got you here for taking a moment right now to set these intentions. And then you can bring some gentle movement back into the body by rolling your shoulders or your head, your neck. You can open your eyes when you're ready. Now, I know for some of you, you probably noticed that that felt almost like a full moon workshop where we're letting things go. But the goal is to let things go, wrap things up so that we are creating more space for all of the new opportunities that are coming. This is a new moon. Yes, yes. But it's the new moon in the last sign. So it's the last chapter. So we can use this energy to close out the year and let it go. And then we have more available space to expand into the next energetic year, which is going to be happening very, very soon. I'm so excited about that. So that was why this unfolded like that. Um, that's it. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I have a cord cutting workshop that will work amazing with this Pisces energy. It is um, a sliding scale. Okay, so you can pay, I think it starts at $8 or something. And then we also have the Pisces season workshop, which is just pay whatever you want. It's like this one. You could pay $1. It also comes with the downloadable seasonal guide, which is amazing. Truly, seriously, the, the guide I love. Um, I mean, the workshop's good too. It's me, but like th that guide is great. Um, that's it. Please hit the like button. I know that's annoying, but like it's an easy way to support me. Um, you can subscribe, send this to a friend, whatever. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating with you. And I'm going to now start the pivot party where I'm going to talk about my experience just really quickly. So if you want to go, ciao. See you in two weeks. Um, now that they're gone. <laughs> um, no, these are the real bitches who really stick around because you're still here. Really doing the work, eh? Love you. Thank you for that. You're helping this world be a better place. So that's good. Um, <laughs> whew. This season, when I tell you I'm like now separating from a partner, um, I'm like deconstructing my business. I'm like letting go of like four or five, six different people because it's just time. I also feel like, we're changing things here at at wheel oh my god at wheelhouse about our opening we've delayed something we're like releasing the, it's just like there is so much letting go letting go letting go letting go and i've been doing a lot of um shiva mantra and meditation and like that is really helping with the destruction of everything and just clearing out more available space for all this expansion i feel like there are so many things mentally clicking about my childhood, the traumas that I've been through, which I'm not even gonna talk about that, but like how they literally have shaped the way that I see the world around me and they create so much imbalance in some of my relationships, like with how much I give or what I do to like people please or to be accepted or this or that. It's just like this last two weeks, three weeks, four weeks have just been like click, click, click more awareness, like seeing more shit. And my dreams are insane right now. And it's just like, it's crazy. So I'm feeling really good though. I'm feeling lighter. I'm feeling excited about what is to come. I'm feeling aligned. I'm feeling like, yes, I'm letting go of a lot of things. Um, even like memberships, like I'm closing out a membership to this like members club gym thing that I was going to. And now I'm going to this other one, which is like, bitch. <laughs> that's a fucking membership. But like, I just, I feel complete with this. I feel like I'm not really, this isn't really benefiting me the way that I wanted it to. So I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lighter also. So please let me know in the comments how y'all are feeling because like this energy has been wild lately. Right. So love you. See you very soon. Ciao. For real, go watch the cord cutting. It's so good. Okay. Bye.